up a point since the opening day. The commentator is Trevor Harris. This is Darren Ferguson on for Keane. And Steve Bull arrived. And it was a clear shooting chance for the wall centre forward. And he knows he should have done better than that. A way off target. Nice build up from Wolves. They do look good coming forward. But so often in the early parts of this season, the final product has been missing. Nice touch. And Bull got away from his marker, but way off target. Well, Nigel Jimson left in a heap, and the referee has a wave play on as they were looking for a free kick, Oxford. But instead, it's Robbie Keane for Wolves on the break. And cut out by Darren Purse. And now Oxford do have it back, and here's Joey Beecham. He does love to run at defenders, and he's going to try Simon Common for size. And he's beaten him twice, and it's still Beecham. Good save by Stahl. And in on the rebound. A really acute angle. It's 1-0 Oxford. Super start for Dennis Smith's side. And all his own work, Joey Beecham, after 17 minutes, has given United the lead. A sucker punch for Wolves. But it really was a terrific run from the winger. Look where he picks it up. He's way inside his own half. And they all backed off him, the Wolves defenders. Mark McGee won't be too happy about that. He turned Conwell inside and out. Stahl must have thought he'd done enough. And that was a really acute angle. You see it from behind the goal. There seemed no way in from there, but he found it. David Smith with the unintentional dummy, but it's fallen to Remy. And this is Ford. Oh, he's done well. And it's 2-0. Bobby Ford slices through the Wanderers' defence. It's a dream start for Oxford, and Wolves just can't believe what's hit them here at the Manor Ground. Again, questionable defending. They are without four of their first-choice defenders, but even so, nice little ball from Remy. And cool as you like. Ford makes it 2-0. Control with the left. Power with the right. This is Steve Froggett. And he's testing Remy for pace. And he's round him. But he couldn't find the finish. Possibly caught in two eyes between a shot and a cross. And in the end, he rather didn't either. Good pace, though, from Steve Froggett. Definitely had the legs on his man, but maybe Remy just did enough to put him off at the finish. Worrying times for the Wolverhampton Wanderers manager. This is Robinson. And here's Keane with a shot. Half a chance. They desperately need to spark Wolves something to get back in this match. Two goals down. Here's the substitute, Mixu Patalainen, and maybe he can provide it. On this occasion, Robbie Keane couldn't. Certainly Wolves having a lot of the ball. Here's Patalainen. Well, he worked himself a yard, but couldn't keep it down. He does uh, hold the ball up so well. Nice little touch, but again, they can't find the target. This is Atkins, and does well. Back to his keeper, Mike Stahl. Oh, lovely touch by Jemson, and he's got it through to Beecham. Is this a second? It nearly was. Good save by Stout. And again, Oxford running ragged through that Wolves defence. It just seems one decent through ball, and the away side are caught square. Lovely touch from Jemson, pace from Beecham, and Stout made himself big. This is Ferguson forward. 
looking for Steve Bull, and he might get there. And I don't think you could quite believe how much time and space he had at the end. Rather tame shot straight into the keeper's arms. Was well picked out, used his physical strength well, Steve Ball. Here's Beecham. Another little one here, might fancy this. And he does, and Wolves just aren't learning at all. In the first half, they gave him space and stood off, and he punished them with the opener. And in the second half, they've done exactly the same thing, and he's done it all over again. This time, didn't need a rebound. A perfectly placed shot, just enough power to beat Stiles' dive. And it's all over now, 3-0 Oxford. Who would have predicted that at the start? They've come to this game after four straight defeats, but they've turned it round here, 3-0. Can only be a consolation now for Wolves in from Kubitsky. And here's a great chance for Ferguson. And that just about sums up Wolves' day. A glorious opportunity to get on the score sheet for young Darren Ferguson. Don't think he missed by much. Coat of paint. And in fact, that's the last kick of the match. 3-0 it's ended. The Wolves have never won at the Manor Ground and they still haven't. Oxford's first win since the opening day. I thought that you know, some of the movement and the goals were very good. Obviously, against a team of uh, Wolves' calibre to create as many chances as we've done today is good. Keep a clean sheet was pleasing, although I wasn't too impressed with the defending at times in the first half and we had to work on it. I think uh, we always suspected with the, the players we have available that we wouldn't be the best uh, defensively anyway, you know, but it was pretty disappointing, you know, we were well beaten. 4-1 win over York City 